Hi, this is Brandon with United World Telecom. As part of our video series on VoIP call quality, today we'll discuss what causes packet loss and how you can fix this issue. So let's get started. To understand what causes VoIP packet loss, let's first recap how VoIP works. In simple terms, voice over IP, or VoIP converts voice or analog signals into digital data packets. It then transmits these packets from one endpoint to another destination through the internet. Once the packets reach the other destination, they are converted back to voice. This is how VoIP enables voice communication using the internet. Packet loss, as the name suggests, refers to the loss of data packets during this transmission. Usually, this happens when data packets are transmitted correctly from one endpoint, but fail to make it to the receiver. In this case, some packets are entirely lost and never reach the other destination. Or, they arrive late or contain errors and are therefore discarded. When you have high packet loss, you end up with bad call quality with pieces of audio that are hard to decipher. This leads to broken or muffled audio, which interrupts caller's ability to communicate effectively. And for your business, this means low quality sales and customer support calls. Packet loss, jitter, and latency all occur due to errors in the transmission of data packets from one endpoint to another. Thankfully, the solution is relatively simple. Since packet loss occurs due to digital packets not transmitting effectively, you will need to minimize network congestion. This happens when too many people send and receive traffic through the same network simultaneously. For example, streaming audio and video files, downloading or transferring multiple large files, and so on. All of this can lead to a congested network where the router starts slowing down and loses some of the data transferred. So make sure you have enough bandwidth. In other words, turn off other applications that take up much network space and are not needed for business operations. You should also update hardware and software. This is because old equipment con contributes to the lag of network traffic. Speaking of equipment, if you're using wireless networks, it may be a good idea to switch to wired networks instead. Since they are more stable, wired networks are less likely to have data packets lost in transmission. Finally, remove any interfering signals such as Bluetooth devices. You can always use packet loss tests to check how your network handles voice and data transmission. Have more questions about VoIP call quality issues? We'll include our top resources in the description below. You can also visit unitedworldtelecom.com and speak with one of our experts. We're here to help.